Hello, and welcome to Tech Doctors, uh, where we're talking about how to think about autonomous vehicles. This is part two, which discusses the operating environment. If you remember from our overview, we talked about what we euphemistically called the three circles of autonomous vehicle hell, uh, starting with the innermost circle, which is one most people are interested in, which is the vehicle circle. We moved out to include both the on-vehicle and off-vehicle systems, and then pointed out that, that those systems are actually a subsystem of the overall autonomous vehicle service provider system, and that whatever uh, that provider is doing, they have to recognize that they're operating in an environment uh, consisting of the outside world. And so for this part of the discussion, we're gonna talk more about that outside world, what we call the operating environment. And you'll notice what I did here. I basically just uh, took a reasonable look at the types of things that these autonomous vehicles have to deal with in their environment. Anything from pedestrians to weather, uh, to roads, to emergency personnel and emergency vehicles, uh, and of course, animals and other uh, miscellaneous objects. And the thing to keep in mind with these things is that each one of them is, is a fairly uh, complicated, complex object. So let's take weather as an example. I mean, not only do you have uh, rain and sleet and snow and hail, um, but you also have sunny days, foggy days, um, smoggy days, and there's also degrees. There's light rain, heavy rain, thunderstorms, uh, there's, and these things can combine, right? You can have a rain mixed with, you can have a freezing rain, rain mixed with ice, et cetera. So just weather alone is, is a complex uh, environmental phenomenon. And it interacts, these things interact with each other because obviously weather has an impact on the roads. And of course the roads are complex because there's different kinds of roads. There's highways, there's uh, streets, there's gravel roads, dirt roads, uh, there's roads with signs, uh, roads that are under construction, um, and so on. So it, it's just something to always keep in mind with the environment these vehicles operate in. It's complex. It's complicated. And humans deal with it every day. And don't underestimate the power of the human brain that enables it to deal with this. And I'll just give you a simple example uh, is with just the power of generalization. So if I were to tell you, well, okay, um, you could take... Uh, say a young child, and you could show them, let's say an example of a person, say that's a person, and you say, well, that's a bike. You don't have to go later and say, now there's a person on a bike, or there's a person with a bike. Um, and why is that important? 